Hello everyone, I just saw the Power Rangers trailer, and I wanted to tell you guys a little something. I've actually been a fan of Power Rangers for the majority of my life, though when it comes to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I only saw that when I was a teenager in high school. When I was a kid, I mainly saw Power Rangers Ninja Storm and Power Rangers Dino Thunder, as those were the shows going on when I was a young child. But... I understand why they're going for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for this movie because it went for the longest amount of time. It's the one that the people most generally associate with the Power Rangers. So it makes sense that that's the type of movie they're going for. So the trailer is actually... I expected the trailer to be different from the original show as the show has that campy vibe that wouldn't really jive well with today's uh, filmmaking. but. I didn't expect the trailer to be this different. That's not to say it's bad, it's just something that I didn't really expect. The trailer's tone, it has a little bit of Degrassi mixed with Chronicle mixed with Breakfast Club. As we see our five main characters who are, some are getting bullied, some are, don't exactly have the best relationship with their parents, and some just don't fit in. This does get you to feel for these characters more, and, I'm, and even though I like the campiness of the original Power Rangers, I'm okay with having a darker version. It's hard to have these characters transition to film. Heck, they've tried it twice, and neither time did it work very well. And uh, the other things that I know from the trailer, the budget looks surprisingly good. I mean, I liked most of the effects. I liked the fact that it has a subdued color palette at first, but then bright colors like the color of these gems that they pick up, and the color of the, and the color of the uh, lair that they find, which I'm guessing is Zordon's lair, they really stand out in comparison to everything else. Also, even though the trailer in general is a bit dark, there are light bits of humor that are generally funny. For example, when that guy headbutted uh, one of the rangers and he ended up knocking himself out, that had me laughing on the floor. And that time when two of the rangers decide to test their powers by jumping from one side of the cliff to another, and one, and he says it's a piece of cake, and the, and one of the rangers says, that is not a piece of cake! Yeah, I'd probably react the same way if I saw that. Last thing that I'll mention is Rita Repulsa, played by Elizabeth Banks. I was sort of weirded out that Elizabeth Banks was the one who's chosen for the role, but honestly, she looks okay for the role, and her voice sounds intimidating enough. We're just going to have to wait for the eventual film to see if she lives up to that iconic villain. I would have liked to see a bit of Zordon, played by Brian Cranston, but maybe they're just saving him for another trailer, or just saving him for the movie. And because it's important for them to really portray these characters the way the show did, in order for this movie to work. Even if they're going for something that's a totally different, darker reboot. Just don't do it like Fant 4 stick. Anything but fan four stick and we'll be okay. So yeah, that's my thoughts of the trailer. It looks it looks interesting, but we're just gonna have to see where it goes from here. See you later.